Hi, this is Graham from Jennings Astro. If you're new to astronomy and you decide to buy a telescope, you'll probably find quite quickly that the choice of models is overwhelming. Should you buy a scope that looks like this, or maybe one that looks more like this, or perhaps it should look like this. So a lot of the videos on my channel are designed to help you navigate between some of those choices. But until now, we haven't looked at an entirely different path for getting into astronomy and that is to use a pair of binoculars. So in this video, we're going to look at a piece of equipment that will allow you to efficiently use a quite a large set of binoculars to look at the night sky. So binoculars, it's quite possible that you've got a pair lying around the house. So for example, these are the ones that are uh, in our kitchen. These are eight by 42 binoculars. So they have a 42 millimeter objective and a magnification of eight and they're ideal for taking out on walks, maybe looking at the birds, they're very lightweight, can put it in a bag, no problem. And you can hold a set of binoculars like this, uh, hand hold them for a long time, and because they're lightweight, you can maintain a steady uh, focus on the object that you're looking at. But when you want to get into using binoculars in the night time for looking at faint objects in the night sky, then really you want to get a larger aperture, a larger size of lens than this sort of binocular offers. And before long, uh, the astronomy equipment options that come onto the table can include items like this. So this is a set of binoculars that have 70 millimeter objective lenses. And this uh, set produces magnification of 15. But also quite commonly you'll find people using 80 millimeter objective lenses and sometimes even larger units. Um, those are dedicated binoculars for astronomy and you can't hold them for very long. You certainly can't hold them and have a relaxed look at the night sky uh, using handheld sort of way of operating. So in this video we're going to look at a product from the Orion company in the US. Here it is. It's pretty heavy and it's called the Orion Paragon Plus Binocular Mount. So we're going to unbox it and put it together and see how you might use it to allow you to comfortably use a heavier set of binoculars for looking at the night sky. Okay, so what's in the box? Well, you guessed it, it's another box. This is astronomy after all. We need a lot of packaging. So inside that box is another box. Here we go, let's open it up. and take a look inside. So, a set of instructions. Now this really is pretty lightweight, two sides of, um, of paper, and it covers uh, two models of this product. So Orion offer a 5379 model, which is the, the mount and a tripod, but in this case, they offer a 5376 model, which is just the, the mount itself, the parallelogram mount as they're called. And this is what we're going to look at today. So the idea is if you buy this version, you've already got a tripod that's suitable to attach uh, the mount on top of. So we'll have a look at the instructions in a bit. And then Try to turn this so you can see. Opening up the box, inside we've got some uh, some polystyrene blocks. And then, oh, we've got a pretty heavy unit wrapped in a bag. So, put the box to one side. I can do that without knocking myself out. Straight away, this is a pretty heavy piece of metal. And let's take the bag off and see what's inside. Okay, so we have one bag there. And then there's some bubble wrap around this end of the product. So we just take that off. And then we can take a look at it. Okay, so this uh, is the Paragon plus parallelogram 
binocular mount. I've probably said that wrong, but you get the idea. And I'd say in terms of assembly, there's not gonna be a great deal for us to do because it basically comes in one lump, which is which makes a refreshing change really. So we're not gonna to need to do a great deal of um, putting together. So at this end, you can see there is a, uh, most of the weight is a counterweight, which uh, the purpose of which will become obvious when we put it onto a tripod and it is able to slide. I think we can see that we're gonna be able to loosen off and slide that mount. As with all counterweights, you need to be able to adjust the lever arm. And then other than that, looking at the actual shape, ooh, you can see that it has this parallel parallelogram form to it, which we'll see how that works in a minute. Um, at the end here, I think if we loosen this off, this is going to be the uh, way that we're going to attach the binocular. Lots of knobs to tighten up and adjust, come to that. And then underneath here, we can see we've got um, a mounting point to uh, put the unit onto a tripod. Okay, so if we come a bit closer, this is intended to mount on a tripod like so, and we'll come to that. And if we take a look underneath the base of the unit, you can see, hopefully, if I hold it up, the camera will focus there, you can see that there is a screw thread in the center of the base here. Now, quite clever feature here of the, the mount in that as supplied out of the box, this unit will thread onto a, uh, a thread that is one quarter of an inch. So that is one of the two sizes of thread that you commonly get on photo tripods. But because the area is the second size, then you are, have an option here to unscrew this fitting. And then so it takes this, this adapter uh, there we go, this adapter just comes out and then it reveals a larger 3 8 of an inch thread. So depending on the tripod that you have, then you can use either of those two arrangements to allow you to attach this Orion mount onto your existing tripod. Okay, so here's my tripod. Uh, it's got a 3 8 of an inch size thread, so it's the larger of the two possible sizes. Uh, on top of the tripod here on this adapter plate and we'll see how we can attach the Orion mount. So we're just going to mate it up here with a thread in the bottom of the unit and rotate like so until it's tightened up. And then the unit is free to turn. So nice and simple. Um, I think we saw before that you can slide the, the counterweight, clamp it back down, and then that there are a series of knobs, um, four of them in fact, that allow you to tighten the mechanism now clearly at the moment I haven't got any binoculars on so it's it's not in balance but we'll we'll come to that next. Seems pretty sturdy, the finish is good. It's like powder coated matte black paint. Um, yeah, seems like a nice piece of kit. Okay, so we looked at this part already, but it is the L-shaped bracket that the Orion mount has in order to allow you to attach your binoculars. So I'm gonna tighten that down and you'll see that it has a, a captive thread here. If I look at my particular binoculars, you'll see in the center, they have, there is a, a thread. Now it's a standard size. Now it should be noted that this, as supplied, this type of binocular mount will not attach to 
binoculars that have a um, some of the 20 by 80s that have a central bar running um, along here and then a, a sort of pillar mount so this is for mounting to binoculars where there is a thread that is running along the center axis between the two barrels so if I try to show you a little bit more closely all you're going to do is attach the binoculars like so and tighten it down and then because we've got the additional weight of the binoculars we can tighten this bolt here so that is it that is basically the the attachment and we'll see in a minute how how this works as you move the binoculars around but i guess it's probably worth noting that with this type of mount the binoculars and their center of gravity is above the point of rotation so you do need to maintain uh, this bolt here it needs to be tight otherwise binoculars will flop about they're not hanging they're not suspended as in some other mechanisms they are above the rotation point right so now we've attached the binoculars all we need to do is to make sure that we've got a good balance so as we've seen before you can adjust the counterweight until the whole mount is basically balanced when the friction on these knobs uh, is uh, loose so tighten this up and you're ready to go so the the Orion mount is very smooth in operation you can adjust the position of the binoculars the height of the binoculars everything moves very gently um, and you can you can just tune how you want it to move with the four uh, knobs here and here and then it's just very simple if you want to adjust the direction in the, which the binoculars are pointing you have to loosen off this uh, knob here adjust the angle and then tighten it down so for example we've got the object we're observing here nice comfortable seated position and we can move the binoculars away if we want to get up or we could rotate and adjust the mount. Everything is nice and smooth. And one of the features of this parallelogram type of mount is that if you've got the binoculars pointed in a given direction, then you can adjust the height of the binoculars without adjusting the direction in which they're pointing. So it's very helpful. Perhaps you could be you could be observing an object and then you may be able to lower down the mount, perhaps for a child to see the object that you've lined up. So it's nice and simple. So I would say um, my only minor note really is um, that this arrangement of having the, the weight of the binoculars above this rotation means that you do need to make sure that you've got this knob here. It has to be tightened sufficiently to stop the binoculars drooping like this. So once you know that, uh, it's fine, it's not a problem. And then after that, it really is a nice, simple piece of Astro Kit that will allow you to take the strain out of using heavy but very capable binoculars like these um, for a prolonged period of time. And I think it is definitely an option to get into astronomy this way. A lot of people prefer binocular astronomy, it's quite relaxing. You've got a wide field of view with uh, binoculars. It's much easier to find objects, you get a bright image and it's quite a different experience obviously both of your eyes are seeing the object quite a different experience to using a telescope and maybe you could pick yourself up star atlas here's a very famous one turn left at orion and could be all that you ever want simple astro so i'd say that the orion uh, paragon plus mount in the form that i've looked at here where i've got my own tripod and i've just bought the mount is a nice solid piece of kit and I think it's good value for money. So I hope it's been useful. Thanks for watching.